Help us to serve you, Jesus, and not give in to our own desires. Please grant us the grace to keep Holy Spirit's fire burning bright within us. Amen. Lord, I feel so lame. I wish I could grow with fire. Just barely here. It is not good. I want to love you with passion, but only you can give that to me. What must I do? Be patient with me, Claire. There are graces going out to many. Only continue to love and serve me. Even though you feel very dry, you are still on fire inside for me. I would not say it if it were not so. I flatter no man or woman. I chide, but I do not flatter. But the question is, can you receive it? Oh, Lord, when I heard you say these things to me, my weak little heart revived. I smiled. It touched me. It touched you because it was not flattery, but a real observation. Much is being denied to you in this hour, and much is going out to others who desperately need to discover and receive my love. This is true to all of you, my brides. This is a time of great sacrifice, emotionally. I am giving to others what is your due. I am lifting burdens. I am giving new life and a fresh start. All of this is being drained away from you and given to others who are in desperate need. Do you agree to this sacrifice? Are you willing to forgo consolations so I may touch the spiritually destitute? I know your hearts, and that is why I am taking from you to give to others. Some of you question if you are really bearing fruit because you do not feel so connected to me. This is a lie. You are quite connected, in the right place, at the right time. But I am taking from you to give to others who are so destitute and confused about me. What you say is true, Lord. I have been wondering if we are doing the right thing, having this community, because of the many challenges and trials we have been going through, asking ourselves, are we bearing fruit? Are we growing spiritually? Are we pleasing to you, Lord? Beloved, there is always room for improvement, but in all truth, you are pleasing to me. You all are growing at your own personal pace. But I have been giving to others what is yours so they can continue to seek me and live. The church is in a perilous place right now. What seems right and good, the prosperity, the affluence, truly has taken people off track. This was a deliberate move of the enemy to draw your affections away from me and it has been working. But I am telling you, my very little ones, you are fulfilling my will for you in this time, and will do it even more so as you continue to reach out to the world. In the meantime, I am plowing with the hidden graces flowing from your lives. I am using them to draw the people even more so to me. Do not judge by your feelings. They will deceive you. Rather trust that I am arranging things for you to pump life into the world, real life and heavenly light into the crippling darkness. Touch me in the morning when you awake and trust that you have an impartation to bring joy and truth to the world through your prayers and humble service. Then just go about your day accomplishing all that is set before you. I will work through your gentle kindness to accomplish my ends. Trust that it is my design that motivates you. Things will happen and arise very naturally because I am arranging them. Trust is so very important in this work. You will have an abundance of joy in this work, and that will be your guiding light. 
you will have an abundance of persecution as well. But as you show yourself friends to every soul, you will win them over. I am guiding this work. Do not be afraid. And that was the end of the Lord's message. After I shared this message with the community, one of the brothers came to thank me because it was a confirmation from what the Lord had told him last night. He stayed up all night waiting on the Lord, longing to hear from him and even just see him, and nothing happened. However, he went to Padre Pio's book, Have a Good Day, and got the reading that said, If God does not offer you sweetness, still eat your bread, even though it is dry and bland. Be content and still be faithful to your duties, knowing that you are serving God for His own sake and without any reward, and your love is becoming pure and nobler. The Mass readings were about Thomas saying he will not believe until he puts his hand in the Lord's side. And Jesus said, Blessed are those who have not seen and still believe. To be blunt and honest with you, my dear heart dwellers, I sometimes fear when I get an encouraging word that it could be the enemy and not the Lord. So when he brought me the confirmation, a scrutiny lifted off my shoulders, and I rejoiced that truly we are pleasing to our Lord. <laughs>